Welcome back. It is still Thursday, December 10th, 2015. This is still the morning edition on I-24 News, the place you should be. Because the following issue is a complex one in its banality, and that would be the banality of evil. The banality of evil seems to be everywhere this, these days, so it's no wonder that the spirit of Hannah Arendt, a new Israeli documentary film by Ada Ushpiz, is enjoying a wide international success. The film, about the political theorist that coined the term while she covered the Eichmann trials in Israel for The New Yorker, gets its global distribution just as the world news cycle goes into a frenzy of reports on once unimaginable terrors which seems, seem to be daily life in our world. Terror attacks, shootings, lynchings, refugee crisis, all, all seem to resonate Hannah Arendt's philosophical insight. Still shining brighter after more than half a century. Very happy to be joined in studio by the spirit of Hannah Arendt, director, Ada, uh, director and producer Ada Ushpiz. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. And also with us, Professor Khaled Furani, Associate Professor at the Department of Sociology and Anthropology at the Tel Aviv University. Good morning to Good you morning as well. You. Ami is with me as well. Morning, Ami is yeah. as well. But before anything else, let's take a look at the trailer of um, uh, Ada Ushpiz's film, The Spirit of Hannah Arndt, and break it down from there. The child was born on October 14, 1906. She's vivacious and cheery. She loves letters and books. When someone asks, what's your name? She says, Haya Arendt. If Hannah Arendt is considered as an intellectual, it is as a man who is In 1924, the great philosopher Martin Heidegger recognized very soon that she was something special, and quickly they developed a personal relationship, which in a strange way lasted through Hannah Arendt's life. For me, as a Jew, Germany means my mother tongue, philosophy and literature. I think non-thinking is even more dangerous. It is this non-thinking adoption of fascist, racist ideologies, which she is saying became normal, which is why we have to be all the more alert. She saw Eichmann as the little man, the bureaucrat. Move these Jews here, and so he moves them. I was really the opinion that Eichmann was a Hans Wurst, the unwill to be able to tell what is with the other. That's what I meant with the banality. People went berserk. As late as 10 years ago, I'd give a lecture on Eichmann in Jerusalem, and somebody in the audience would get up and start screaming. Ada Ushpi is the director and producer of the Sama film, and I think a very, very timely film in this day and age, sadly so. Why, to begin with, did you take a closer look at Anna? Uh, the trigger was actually, <coughs> sorry, the trigger was actually the banality of evil. That was the real trigger in the beginning. Then I indulged into, in, in reading her writing, and of course, many other subjects came forward. But yes, the banality of evil that we experience all around, all the time, and in, in national uh, sphere, in private life, in everywhere. I mean, it's, uh, as you grow up, you are much more uh, acquainted with, unfortunately. Sadly. Yeah. Sadly, with, with banality of evil. And, uh, and I think I just came across something that I thought here you see again banality of evil. And then I say to myself, my goodness, why don't I do a movie about Hannah Arendt? <laughs> and that's how it's all started. That's how it all began. The banality of evil when it comes to Hannah Arendt, apropos of the film, and I, I want us to take a look at the short clip um, out of that film, because I think there's a moment in her life, and you'll help explain it to us, where she realizes, you know, that she has to do something. And, and let's take a look, first of all, from a little clip from in, in your film, of the banality of evil, I think, that is most well represented. 